Hi Leo, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your April 2019 monthly tarot forecast. This is for Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and Leo Rising signs. All right, Leo, there's the Five of Swords. I'm gonna stick this back in and keep shuffling here. Let's see if it comes back out. Five of Swords can represent several different things. Can be conflicts challenges and uh, things like that. Let's see. There's the star. Okay, and there's the four of rods. So um, for those of you that are coupled or even dealing with like a family matter here with the four of wands, if there was like a misunderstanding or a relationship that needed um, to heal, it most likely is happening here in April. So this is actually very nice. We just seen the Five of Swords, Leo. Now we have the star that's coming out with the, the Four of Wands. So this is, a, for me, it's a very powerful healing and spiritual energy. So this is like spiritual protection. Um, for some of you, you are maybe even being guided to heal a relationship. So let's see, I'm gonna stick these back in here. We'll see if they come back out, Leo. Um, yeah, so maybe there was like a dispute or something like that. This could have been in March. There could have been something that already happened here. Or for some of you, maybe it's happening at the end of March when I'm filming this. Uh, if there is like a misunderstanding or a falling out, a dispute, something like that. Most likely uh, you guys will be making up though. Let's see here. April 2019, upcoming future messages for Leo. I am using the Morgan Greer Tarot Deck Leo uh, for this reading. I'm also pulling you an overall guidance card. That will be from the Magical Mermaids and Dolphins Oracle Deck this month. And then I'm also pulling you a Health and Wellbeing Focused card. And then a Love and Relationship Oracle as well. Interesting, Leo. Okay. Okay. All right, so the overall energy, Seven of Cups, Leo for the month. Seven of Cups, dreamy sort of energy, can definitely be a confusing energy. Some of you Leos might need to see things clearly here in April. Um, let's see, okay. There also might be the need to Look at your options here. Underneath the Seven of Cups, I have the Three of Wands. Um, so this is interesting. There's the Eight of Cups underneath the Three of Wands. So with the Seven of Cups, it can be a confusing emotional energy. Um, someone who's not seeing something clearly. And so that might be what's needed for you, Leo, here in April, is to really look closely at something, pay attention to the details. Maybe some of you need to ground your energy here in April. But if you're looking at a lot of choices or options here, I feel like that's a good thing. Some of you are moving forward in some way that can be emotionally moving on, letting go. Um, for me, the Eight of Cups can be like, I'm over it. I'm, I'm over something, I'm moving forward, uh, I'm leaving something behind. Three of Wands can be you expanding your horizon. So some of you are looking at choices, options, you are going to be moving forward. For some of you, that could even be like physical movement. Um, it might be an emotional move for you with the Eight of Cups, but it, it can even be physical travel because here right at the center we we have the tower we have the tower crossed by temperance and the tower for me can represent a home a building that's significant um so again some of you leos it, it could be physical travel maybe some of you have to leave your home it, it might be like an emotional move for you um some of you could be 
looking at the options here with the seven of cups and temperance if you've wanted to move house if you've dealt dealt with difficulties around this what's going to help you here uh, at the start of the month is looking at those options those choices and looking at them very clearly if you're purchasing a home or if you're just moving if you're looking for uh, an apartment something like that my advice to you leo is look at look at those choices look at everything because maybe some of these properties um that you're looking at some might be a good fit you know these might be places that you would be very happy living in but then you know other places might not actually be good options so really needing to weigh your options for some of you needing to weigh the pros and cons here that's what's needed now for those of you that I mentioned earlier, I felt like there was a dispute or something like that. If there was like an argument, if things were blown out of proportion, because we have the tower here. Um, and so the tower for me can represent things kind of basically exploding, things um, getting blown up or blown out of proportion. So uh, with that five of swords, which I seen earlier when I was shuffling, um, for some of you, there could have been like a dispute or some, a misunderstanding, something like that. The challenge is maybe healing here uh, in in April. That might be what's needed. Now you have the you had the star as well with temperance, so that's a lot of spiritual energy. So again, some of you could be being led, being guided to maybe mend a relationship. So keep that in mind. That won't be for all of you, um, but for 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 some of you, if if there was a falling out, you might not be seeing everything clearly with the Seven of Cups. Some of you, I feel like you're being guided to maybe mend a relationship here. Um, the sign of Sagittarius might be significant for some of you. Sagittarius, Scorpio might be significant for some of you. Um, the Tower energy for me can be something happening very suddenly. It also can be, for me sometimes, you dropping the bomb, you surprising someone. So you could be doing something or you might have done something maybe at the end of March or at the start of April here. You could be surprising someone and like shocking them, dropping the bomb, Leo. Um, at your foundation, I have the Seven of Pentacles which can speak about you planting seeds, you working hard, you putting in that effort, but something does need time to grow. So those of you that are maybe moving house, this could have been something that you were trying to do for quite some time. Maybe some of you have been waiting for a property to sell. Um, and if, if that's the boat that you're in, Leo, if you're waiting on a property to sell, I think it's a time for you at the start of April to look at those options. We do have the Six of Rods in the recent past, so this can be some sort of success or victory that came to you previously. Um, also, you could have been very confident when it comes to taking action, moving forward um, with something Leo. This could have been you very confident um, or are you very proud of yourself when it comes to something, something you did prior? Others, this could have been some sort of recognition or some sort of success that came to you previously. What's interesting, though, is like we have this very positive energy in the past. And then right now we have the tower, but then we also have the three of swords. Now, the tower for me, I just want to point out that this is not always a negative energy not at all it's a neutral energy neutral card it can go in either direction um, the tower with the three of swords crowning you some of you maybe feel like you lost out so there could have been something that happened previously again you know you could have been very proud of yourself you were successful with something here in the recent past and then right now either at the end of March when I'm filming this or at the start of the month it's almost like maybe you feel as though you're losing out on something or maybe you feel lost with the tower the seven of cups and then this three of swords if you're a Leo that's feeling a little lost here what's needed is looking at those those options those choices needing to weigh those options maybe you're missing something or maybe you're not seeing something clearly so just keep that in mind 
Three of Swords in this position can also speak about you feeling frustrated, um, severely disappointed. So maybe, again, you're trying to do something and something very good happened prior, um, but now maybe you're stuck or you're feeling disappointed. Um, now you have, you have a seven, let me see here, you have a seven, you have temperance, which in the challenge position can represent you needing to be patient. So I think that some of you are dealing with divine timing here. Um, and so if you're disappointed about something or frustrated about something, give it some time. Again, seven of pentacles at your foundation, something needs time to grow. And then around the second week, Leo, we do have the Ace of Rods. So this is a new beginning that's coming in. You actually have several ones here. So we have new beginnings that are coming in for you. Now, Ace of Rods can be anything from like a new idea, a new passion, uh, an exciting opportunity that's coming in for you around the second week um so maybe this is something that you had to wait on maybe this you know it's stemming from this hard work that you put in prior leo and maybe it just needed time to grow um, this could be one of these options that you're looking at right at the start of the month but we have this new opportunity this exciting opportunity that's coming in for you and then in the position of your power i have the ace of pentacles so we have the Ace of Rods, we have the Ace of Pentacles. So, you know, something that's beginning for you here at this time, it's exciting. Um, some of you could be starting a business or a new job here because with the Ace of Pentacles, for some of you, it's that solid new beginning or it's going to make you feel more secure, um, more stable, more secure, but it's also fun with the Ace of Rods. It's fun, it's exciting. And then in the position of how those around you, friends, family, how they're viewing you, we have the Chariot, which is someone who's empowered, someone who's in control. So to be honest, Leo, you know, the start of the month, the energy that you're dealing with, I'm not going to tell you it's bad because it's not. I think that, you know, you're obviously on a journey. You've been working very hard, and I think you had something happen prior that was very good. Things might be off to a slow start here. Some of you need to uh, maybe weigh those options. But the second half of the month here could be when you see things take off here. Um, there could be physical travel. So again, if you're waiting to move house, it might be happening here around the second, third week. But the chariot is the ultimate victory card. It's you in the driver's seat. You're moving towards these new beginnings here. You're manifesting. The energy itself could be picking up here at this time. Maybe some of you just needed to be patient and have faith here at the start of the month. A fear for you is the Five of Pentacles, but it's just a fear. I think fearing any more challenges, fearing not having enough money, financial loss, things like that, but it's just a fear. Uh, energy that you're leaving the month with going into May, we have the King of Swords, which could be an attorney, could be an ear sign person, a Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra, someone that maybe you're working with here at this time. Um, for those males, uh, those male Leos that I'm reading for, you might have ear in your chart. Some of you could just be incredibly focused here. King of Swords is, yeah, he's someone who can be a little bit harsh. He's very, very serious. He's a serious character. He gets right down to the bottom of something. So if you were a Leo that was dealing with confusion, um, you know, I feel like for those of you that were dealing with a lot of confusion around a particular matter here, for some of you, you're, you're just getting right down to the bottom of something. So you could be telling someone how you feel at this time. You might be speaking your truth. There could be some Leos that you're using this sword. Um, but we do see you moving forward. We do see you in the driver's seat here. Um, if you are moving house, you might be signing something here at the end of the month. Um, but let's let's do some clarifying. The first thing I'm going to look at is the tower. So let's take a look at the tower for Leo. Clarifying the tower for Leo.
interesting. Oh my goodness, Leo. <laughs> wow. Okay, so I mentioned seven before. Seven was significant. Um, and I mentioned some of you dealing with divine timing. Now we have three sevens. Um, yeah, so some of you are absolutely dealing with divine timing. Maybe something has been going on. For some of you, the number seven is significant. Maybe seven weeks, seven months, um, seven years. But let's take a look at, I just want to clarify, um, we'll take a look at this King of Swords here. For some of you, it's your energy. Others, you could be signing something. You could be coming off as the King of Swords, which he has a very tough exterior. Again, he's a very serious character. But if you feel as though things are not in your control here at the start of the month, by the second half of the month, um, you're absolutely going to, going to feel more empowered, more in control, Leo. All right, so clarifying this tower, we have the Seven of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, and then the Seven of Cups. So Seven of Cups twice, Seven of Pentacles twice, Seven of Swords now. So, You know, for some of you, I'm just going to tell you that I think that you're, you're maybe not trusting someone or maybe you think that someone's lying to you. You know, that's really what I feel here. But for some of you that I'm reading for, the Seven of Cups energy is you not seeing someone or something clearly. So that's why it's important that some of you definitely maybe go off, spend some time alone, meditate needing to ground your energy. There is some emotional energy here, and I mean, the tower energy can be you blowing up, you losing your cool. Um, maybe you think that someone was cheating you or trying to cheat you, trying to steal something from you or lying to you. Um, maybe they made you wait with the Seven of Pentacles. I think that with the Seven of Pentacles, there's the need to evaluate here, um, to look at things clearly. For some of you, I feel like you're suspecting someone of something, but it, it might not be the case. So my advice would be don't make any hasty moves here at the start of the month. Um, you know, Mercury is direct, but there is that kind of after period. And so give it some time here. Let things kind of come to light. Take your time. Um, some of you, what's needed is balancing those emotions. I feel like for some of you, you're not seeing someone or something clearly. And that's why we have this frustration or this disappointment. Um, also, you do have options or choices in front of you. Maybe you feel as though you don't, but you do. Uh, here, looking at this King of Swords, I have the Eight of Cups, which we had at the bottom of the deck. Eight of Cups, Seven of Rods, another Seven, and then the Empress. And so I'm definitely reading for some um, Leo females. Um, for, other, for other Leos, you could be dealing with a woman here. You might be this, this ear energy dealing with a woman for those uh, Leo males. But Seven of Rods is like, I'm not backing down. I'm willing to fight. I'm prepared. I'm ready to go to battle. This is like a defensive energy. This is you standing your ground. So that's quite interesting. Um, for some of you, it's in regards to starting something new, though. This is something that you want, something you're passionate about with the Empress, giving birth to something that would be incredibly rewarding for you. Um, I feel like this is what you're focused on. This is what you're focused on. So uh, here with the Ace of Rods, you know, this could be with the Empress what it is that you're giving birth to. So maybe some of you had to fight for this opportunity. Eight of Cups, again, is like I'm letting go, I'm over something, I'm moving on, I'm moving forward. Um, so very, very interesting. I think that you are manifesting. Uh, I just think that the energy at the start of the month is, a, you know, I don't really want to use the word tricky, but you're, you're going to have to be patient here at the start of the month. 
and really, you know, not back down when it comes to what it is that your, you know, your heart desires, having to stay focused um, when it comes to this. And then you will see the energy kind of shift at some point. Let's pull you an overall additional guidance card, Leo. Additional guidance for Leo for the month of April. All right, so I'm gonna actually take a look at all of these Leo because they are upright. So yeah, let's let's take a look at these. Um, let's focus on health and well-being, Leo. This is the Archangel Raphael Healing Oracle deck. Focusing on health and well-being. There we go. And then focusing on love and relationships, but as always, Leo, over on Vimeo, I do have the April 2019 Love Tarot-focused fo uh, readings over there. That link is below. All right, Leo, focusing on love life for April. All right, lots of cards just wanting to come out for you guys. So lots of additional guidance card, or guidance here, excuse me, for Leo. I can't speak. All right, so the overall additional guidance that I have for you. Let me move all this out of the way, Leo. There we go. All right, so we have, yes, your intuition is correct. Take action accordingly. So my advice, again, would not be to make any hasty moves um but for some of you this is confirming your intuition is on point um i would kind of wait it out though i would wait it out um but we do have your intuition is correct take action accordingly we have music for manifesting to manifest rapidly think of your desire while you chant hum sing or play music so for those of you that are having to be patient or maybe something does need time to grow, this can help you manifest. We know that you're manifesting no matter what here in April because we have these ones. We have these blessings that are coming in. Um, I think the second half of the month is really when you're going to see things happen. So the first half of the month, hey, maybe some of you need to play that music you need to take your mind off of this. You need to relax. Um, you're being helped. Heaven is working behind the scenes to help you even if you don't see results yet. So this is always a beautiful card to see because it's 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 representing that divine guidance, that spiritual support that's coming in. You're being helped. Again, we've seen the star. We have temperance, which for me is representing that spiritual energy. And then divine magic extra magical energy surrounds your situation right now expect miracles so i think you're going to manifest what it is that you're so passionate about things are happening for you leo but you know for many of you i feel like it's going to be in the second half of the month but you know what can help you in the meantime is staying focused Yes, grounding your energy. I feel like some of you do need to spend that time alone. Maybe you need to meditate. Listen to some music as well. Take your mind off of this. Hey, if you can get outdoors because focusing on health and well-being, we have sunlight. Dear Archangel Raphael, please help me enjoy the benefits of sunshine in safe and healthy ways. So if you can get outdoors, spend some time in the sun. Wear that sunblock, but you know, get out, get outside. You know, depending on where you are in the world, if you're, um, like I'm in the northeast, it's just getting warm here. So it's a beautiful time of year to actually get outside and go for a walk. Some of you, this is what's needed. And then focusing on love and relationships, we do have calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and vi visualizations help bring you together. And then we have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moments. So that's quite interesting. You know, I feel like some of you, 
in the beginning of the reading I touched on maybe there was like a falling out or a dispute something like that if it's with like a friend or a family member or a, a relationship a love relationship um, maybe some of you need to forgive some of you, you know, it might be time to kind of put it behind you with the Eight of Cups. Um, those of you that aren't reconciling with someone or making up, um, this is just all about forgiving so you can move on, learning from the past so it doesn't repeat itself. Some of you do have a soulmate that's coming in. Some of you could be making up with a soulmate. I feel like that's the case for some of you. You have maybe someone who's meant to be in your life, but maybe something happened between you two, and, and maybe there is the need to forgive them. Um, others, you have a soulmate that's coming in, um, but maybe you went through whatever it is that you went through. You know, Don't look at it like it was wasted time or energy because I feel like everything happens for a reason some of you could have just went through some experiences and it's really going to make you stronger or maybe there was something you had to learn from that um but yeah overall as you can see leo i think it's going to be a great month for you um lots of spiritual energy coming in um some of you need to look at those options as you do that ground your energy um balance those emotions know that you know the first half of the half of the month you will have to be patient but you know you are manifesting for some of you that's taking place in the second half of april uh and overall as you can see it's going to be a good month just try to stay positive here leo okay so i hope that you found this reading helpful if you are not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe if you are interested in having a private reading with me please check out northeasttarot.com i want to wish you guys a great month take care